Find out what you really is, it's your fault, you just faulty. Lights in the eye, like what I say, and they like when we black and out. Okay, things about to be a little bit of a TV, so it's just what I've been doing. No one can take this intro, so then it's for me, no one in a critical condition. It's beautiful, it's for me, it's in my brain. I've been to go crazy. And as usual, they all be over the moon, they go over their head with this music. They over their gimmicks, we body and nuisance. You don't get no fuck when we find out what you really is. It's your fault, you just fault, see? What's up, y'all? GFM, GFM. What's the word? GFM. Buck already in here. GFM. I think we need to go back and listen to what he said again. Yo. What's up with you, brother? Man, same old thing, man. Glad to be here. I'm blessed. I'm first place here I, real quick. I ain't hear you. What you say, bro? I got. I said I got, <laughs> gotta hear that verse again real quick. Hold on. Yes, sir. On, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> We can't get pictures, you stupid dumb bitches. <laughs> Hate them, get off me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Let the people know. Yes, sir. It's your boy right Buck of Psycho Drama, one third of the infamous Danger Three. Nooses inside in here in spirit with me. I am Buck. Oh, yeah. With the yes, overlord sir. Of the overdue, huh? <laughs> All day, man. <laughs> Overlords of the overdue. So, man, I, first of all, I appreciate you. You the legend. You buck. I appreciate you blessing that track man, for me how you my did. My pleasure. Uh, what you thought? Oh, you man, when I first heard it, I was like, whoa, this beat was just, you know, that's my thing, man. I'm a beat guy. So it was like three perfect melodies running at the same time. It just it had me caught up for a few days, man. I think I just listened to that beat for about two days <laughs> just before I even wrote it with that. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's real. Hey, let me give you a back story about it. So when my son made it, I'm like, okay. I'm like, uh, you know, I went to the, uh, when I first finished Michigan State, I worked in okay. for a second. And I was on this poetry. I, I was a teacher for this poetry team, and Noose's cousin or nephew oh, was wow. on the team. I don't know if you remember, but he got shot during our, during our competition. He got hit in the hand, the eye, and oh, the leg. Oh, man, I don't remember that. So, see, so through that process, I met, I meet Noose's, right? So when my son made the beat, I'm like, no, nah, this sounds like some Chicago Wu-Tang Ed yeah. right here. You feel me? So, so I instantly think of new. When I think of new, I'm like, oh, I got to get Buck. I got I to gotta get me. I got to have Buck. I, yes, I'm sir. Up, yes, up. sir. You know what I'm saying? That thing came together. And I was just like, no, nah, I need triple darkness on this thing. I need this yeah. rapping ass. <laughs> Human, man, I appreciate that. I hope man, I you snap, man. Your son, man. Woo. Yeah, he killed that beat, man. That's that's ridiculous, man. I love that beat. I love that beat, and uh, especially I heard nuisance going. I was like, oh man, I got to jump in here, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ye
yeah. Oh, man. Like, like jump rope in real life, because, you know, I sent it yeah. to you with Noose's reference on it. And when you back, it's like you sent it back with the pockets on it where you wanted me to go yeah, and fill yeah. in that. Like, how y'all get, like, yeah. that as a group, bro? Like, psycho drum is mm -hmm. cool. You give y'all one mic, it's like y'all <laughs> Back. Yeah, yeah, man. man uh, just like years that. of being around each other, man. That was kind of what we did in the park, on the block. You know, we get in the car together, start listening mm -hmm. to them Dusties, and that's what we did, man. It's kind of like a, a like a choir almost between us three. It's that chemistry, you know. So well, we started to write right. like that. Every verse, you know, it's always some room for side and nooses to be in there somewhere. So I heard everything when she was saying her verse. I'm like, okay. And then when I uh, when you asked me to do the hook, I was like, hold on, you know, <laughs> let me let me leave. Let me leave fast some room too. Hey, but I'm still, I get I I ask you to do oh, that from what you're doing man, on the deep end. I appreciate that, man. On the low, because a lot of people may not know, but if y'all go listen to that deep end joint, but going thank crazy you. on that thing. Thank you, man. Hey, so what's when that? Um, that's 2018, 2018, 08. Yeah, yeah, yep. 16. Yep. All right. Yeah, that's hard. Oh, before we go any further, I, I got ahead of myself. Buck is track 18, and he starts at minute 428. The Bible verse that I wanted to uh, give you that encompasses you is uh, since it's Jan Friday, January the 20th, I wanted to make sure that I give you a Bible verse that I thought encompasses Absolutely. you and what's much that I knew. So that's 1 Peter 1, verse chapter 1, verse 20. And they say, God chose him as your ransom long before mm. the world began. But now in those last days, he has been revealed. Oh, your man. Hey, man. I accept that, brother. Thank you. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, man. That, That's destiny right there, man. Straight up. I appreciate that. Man, I'm listening to the, I'm listening to you, you know, because I'm I'm not now I'm I'm honored to have some work with you now, but you know I'm I'm one of your students, so it's just like, um, how long you been in it, but like how how'd you get your start? Yeah, you know man, I mean? thank like, you first of all, man. Um, I've been doing it since '85, man. The the Bears going to the Super Bowl that was my first rap concept, so <laughs> you know now yeah. So, Heard this, yeah, know, yeah, Super Bowl yeah man, I swear, I was like, hold up, I can rap better than Jim McMahon, man, hold up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, and my, um, my, my brother basically gave me some structure, him and um, K Smooth, the, 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 you know, legendary family, K Smooth, Kevin from the Village Crew, um, you know, I was watching his pen back then, and he gave me a lot of game on you know, just writing verses and, and whatnot. And then hanging out with DJ Funk, man, the world famous house DJ, DJ Funk. That was my first DJ. And, um, you know, I got a bunch of really influential people in my life that helped me learn how to structure. And it's just been on ever since, man, since 85. So, so before your voice, you got a structure and a forwardness that already makes you an MC. So now once you add your voice on to it, to me, that makes you top three voices of, of Chicago. Oh, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Hey, hey, you know, I'm I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm glad people still connect with it. And, and um, yeah, man, I, I appreciate yeah. you for giving me this opportunity to jump on this. This is a big project, man. And congratulations on it. It's beautiful sonically all the way through, brother. Beautiful project. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you because I wanted to, uh, I sort of kept it a secret uh, from everybody. Yeah. I wanted to surprise everybody. So I just, just hope that I did everybody who uh, who known the voices, all of that, Definitely. some justice. Because, I mean, y'all the let me. I'm following y'all. I'm standing man. on y'all's shoulders. That's Gratitude, like brother. You know a legend too, man. You did something like that. <laughs> Keep man. going, man. Keep going. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm taking that. So it's like, how, like, you say, uh, so when you listen to your voice, to me, it gives um, the Gil Scott yes, Heron type effect, right? So with that, have you ever thought to add the spoken word yeah, yeah. to your joints? Because it seemed like that's all Yeah, this, yeah. This bias you know what? You brought that up. I appreciate that. That's one of my, you know, influences as well, man. And um, slamming and, and poetry. I actually used to do that. And, um, you know, on some of the upcoming wow. projects, you're going to hear more of that. So I'm glad you brought that up, man. That's definitely in, in my, you know, I got it in the tuck. So I, I got a lot to say. Hey, that lets you know I've been, I've been, I've been listening. I've been, I heard it. I'm like, I'm like, you want to just, just work out? Yes, sir. Yes, real. sir. Yes, sir, man. You know I get down. I get That's down with the best fun. of them, man. I, I love writing. I love rapping and performing. So that's definitely the next move uh, for me. Definitely, you're gonna hear me do some some spoken word. Absolutely. Shout out to the great Malik man, Youssef. I, He's the He's the king. That far. <laughs> Then he closed yeah, yeah, man. Right. Hey, he's a beast, man. On oh, everything. It's such a beast. It's such a beast. Um, so mm -hmm. Magic come out in '94, right? Not that gone. But it seemed like you or y'all don't get mm -hmm. y'all break until yeah. that until they rust drop. Yeah. How how has that yeah. been a group and people sort of just gravitating to your voice? But you're yeah, like, hold on, yeah. we got magic. We, like, I know it had to yeah, be. Yeah, man, like it was that. heavy, was like? man. It was heavy back then. Like I said, me side of nuisance was just, you know, off magic. Magic was like the top level for us and it exploded. We didn't know it was going to do all of that. And then, you know, Twister and Beehype and um, all of them guys, they're my brothers. So we were just in the midst of Twister was doing a feature for our album. And I was doing a feature for his mm. album. So we, we just shot the idea oh, around. Oh. And when that took off, man, and ironically, that was the same year we got signed to Suave House. So, you know, even going to Suave House, they was bringing up magic. They loved Adrenaline Rush, do what you want to do, you know, everything. Okay, so so from magic, when that adrenaline rush came out, it didn't necessarily separate y'all, but it set all oh, yeah. three y'all up for absolutely, a absolutely. And side and nuisance always support me, and we support each other. Whenever it's some solo thing for one of us to do, we still a team, man. We still a team. So they they had my back the yeah. whole time. You know, them my them my them my dogs right there. So that adrenaline rush just gave us even more momentum. So that yeah yeah, it just right. part of the. Yeah. Part yeah. of every roadblock. Did, did that? That's hard, man. Did that cause like a ripple effect through the industry? Was everybody trying to work? Oh with yeah, you yeah, at man. That time? And still to this day, adrenaline is like that's my resume. That's the first job on my resume. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Twisted <laughs> Traxter. They that that definitely is a a big big plus. A lot of people started working with me, you know, after that. Okay, see, I'm biased, right? Because Magic came out, I think, mm -hmm. uh, first, right? So it was like, it was like, we couldn't listen to music in the crib. So when I went to Dvorak, so while everybody uh, listening to that joint, I'm rapping along, acting <laughs> like I'm knowing what's going on. <laughs> that one line. <laughs> Ain't no holes over. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Are you <laughs> man, that was bro? just my I was off of it back then, man. Some was just like I need a statement. Yeah. But yeah, I done got plenty of people in trouble trying to lose <laughs> but, sing it along. So. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. None of y'all verses, bro, but I knew the Yes, sir. Right there. Yes, sir. That's the tagline. Oh, what the fuck you thought, man? Hey, up, that was the know? tagline. <laughs> I would say that was a coin in Chicago. Oh, yeah, Oma yeah, Mama. definitely. That was, that, that yeah. was like one of the first yeah. coins. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. What the fuck you thought? Ain't no yeah. hoes over here. Papa Holtz. Like, that, that became yeah. a people response. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, I tell people. Yeah. How that feel? 
um, respit like or regurgitate what you you know what I'm oh, saying man. what you came up with. Like it's an that. honor, man. Anytime people receive and connect with what I'm doing, man, it's just fuel, and it inspired me to keep going. You know, I've been doing this for so long, and um, you know, as an artist, you want to connect with people. So every time, man, I people from all races, all states. No matter where you're from, man, they showed me so much love. It and it just, it, it that's what geeked me up to do the next thing. I'm trying to top myself every time, you know. But I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see right how with you and side been so laid back. How y'all? Hey man, she stick a dynamite, man, with with <laughs> shoes on. <huh? laughs> you know, you know what? Bro, because I'm sure she probably like had to catch all the couple. Yeah, like, man. She, you know what? We've been we've been friends, man, since you know high school. So we we just got a deep family relationship, and we all got three different personalities. So yes, somehow when you get us this close together, all the pieces fit. Yeah, just become one, man. Just become one. But yeah, that's the mama right there, man. The queen. She she set it off. Oh, that's yeah. The queen in real life. Hey, we got her speak too. I'm interviewing Love. her too. So I was just like when I'm looking at Marisha, I'm like, how <laughs> Yeah. She, 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 she's she's twenty four hours ready, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Twenty four seven. I love it though. What's our oh man, on? um, I think um we ended up we was at a studio called Midiots. This brother named Kayvon, um, I think we recorded that on um, I want to say Real to Real, or it may have been a dad. Yeah, or, That's what it yeah, like. Real to Real. That's what or, it sounds like. Or, it yeah, like either that or a dad or D A eighty eight. One of them old school joints before you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, real, real. tracks that would know, <laughs> tracks that would remember. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely way before the internet or any uh, digital workstations we recorded them. Recorded that? Yeah, tracks that, yep, that? tracks that did the beat, and um, we ended up using our brother K Vaughn's studio. But yeah, we was literally, like I said, we used to ride around listening to Dusty's all the time. So that Boosie and Al Husson, and we had. We had the beat. We knew right. what beat we wanted. And uh, one day we went up to the record store across the street from Lane Tech and bought the record. I called Trax. He met us up there and we took it to the studio and he looped it right there, added everything to it. Just like that. That beat, he probably did that beat in like 10 minutes, man. <laughs> and then he came on. I think oh, I'm man. Ready to get my yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's Young Buck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, real young buck. Speaking of that, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Why oh man, you, you know young? what? Um, when we got, I had just started to grow out of it, even before I discovered that other brother from G Unit. And what's ironic, when I first got to Suave, I was me and Tony Draper was already talking about uh, Tony Draper, the CEO of Suave House. We was already talking about. I told him I wanted to uh, just be, go by BUK, you know. And then, um, yeah, yeah, just dropped the young. I was getting older, and I just wanted that, you know, just buck, just like that. And um, and ironically, uh, that's when I first started hanging uh, with Bun B, and because uh, they live like right down the street from mm -hmm. us. And him, he 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 actually told me about the other young buck and Ball and G two. They like, yeah, man, I got a little partner. His name Young Buck too. Yeah, yeah. So I was really like. Yeah, you, you yeah, I'm like, right yeah, time. man, you can go and run with it. I'm going to do this BUK. And um, if you ever seen that A-Ball video, the Pure Uncut video with us and Master P and Mystical and all of that, they put our name up on the screen, and it was BUK. That was the first official stamp. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's cool. So what was it? In, the, in, the, in, the, in the being signed to Swab House, like when y'all like what first three? Artists yeah, well, House, um, yeah, we was like the first few after um, it's like Thorough and South Circle and Crime Boss and Tila and Mr. Mike, all of them. We we came in early, man. They, yeah, y'all came in early, yeah. early. Y'all helped make that 
y'all merged that line between that south and midwest yeah. line and took took that off like how that seeing that like man how, it was unreal feel, man it was unreal being from the shy 20 years old you know moved out of chicago into texas and it was just so much love man they showed us so much you know, about the music business, and we just click right away. But it was like a dream every day, man, being in the studio and getting a chance to meet different artists. Like, I met Redman, I met Coolio, Cube, and, you know, all these people. Wow. This was like a Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? They just had business every day. Wow. But I learned so much, and it was just like the greatest, one of the greatest experiences of my entire life, man. I love them brothers, man, still to this day. Wow. So is it a bit of regret or, or I, mean, I won't say regret, or was that some of the reason that delayed uh, from, from, from Magic? Because the mm -hmm. first, the next thing didn't drop in 98. Yeah. Wow. What was that? Um, you know what? It was just a lot of politics going on at that time. Um, once we signed, you know, it was just kind of like we started working on a new project, the project that you know for us um but it was it was just a little politics that was kind of over our head we couldn't really do nothing about and um yeah man we just had to take that l and we just came home and try to regroup but you know it was a beautiful time in the creative creative mode making it and stuff like that but it it, it is a little bit of a you know it's a eyesore to think that you know Damn, I, if we would have had that album drop, it would have been totally different. But, you know. That, um, that, that's a, like, especially, it's like, okay, it, it's like yeah. New York rise is happening. Yeah. Then that. The, yep. Then so now the voice never changed. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, you think that hurt the group effort opposed to. Mm -hmm. If you drop mm -hmm. solo type um, of deal. In a way, it, it, it gave us a little bit of a roadblock for just a small minute. But we such a family that we never disconnected. And the creative space always stayed there. So, you know, all of us That's was awesome. working on music. We wow. we stay working on music. So it was the Noosa solo, Sai solo, my solo, the group album. And, um, you know, but I know how God works. So I even take that experience you know, and just use it as a, it, it was, it's a, um, an example. And, you know, I, I wouldn't change nothing, man, if I could do it again, because I just know it was supposed to happen like that. And I just accept it. And we still here. Yeah. No pressure. Yeah. Enjoy the road. Yes, sir. Enjoy the ride. Like, yeah. Uh, and we got the uh, new project uh, on the way. So, so we, 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 we got mo. We better make up for all 30 years. Okay. <laughs> Straight up. Give it, hopefully give us what, in y'all's case, uh, Absolutely. give us what we've been waiting Absolutely. for all of the years. That's the whole I, thing. I've been waiting. I can't, yeah. cannot wait, man. So when you, when you hear the padded room. Oh, man, man that's my of? baby, man. That's, that's uh, <laughs> you know, I started that label, you know, years ago and signed myself. And it, it's just the padded room. That's the. That's the Mike Booth. That's the, you know, the crazy house and somewhere in between. You feel me? So <laughs> you better hear more. Yeah. What, what about you? Uh, shot records. What say be? You shot you records? Shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back yeah. with Benny. Um, that's when we did Do What You Wanna Do. Uh with you you shot mm -hmm. records and um yeah, man, much love to them brothers out in Maywood. We 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 kept it going. So we always had some music on deck all the time, man. Okay. Okay, I I got I got I'm I'm gonna switch the gear. I got a uh your heart is lying to me. You said before it was an actual space <laughs> to put shit down. I broke the fucking ground here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long flight of speakers to your, uh, a long flight of steps to your speakers go ahead and open your mind and come down here yeah yeah that's the theme of the whole album right there man I just want to open people's minds up I got yes, it I got it now when you when you get in that space um, like how how do you get in that space and then come back to us because yeah. it's deep and it almost 
get like um, yeah. it almost sounds screwed. Yeah. So like how 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 do you how how do you do <laughs> that? You know what I'm saying? Like like yeah. You, you record yeah, yeah, I record myself, too, right? um, you know, mostly these days. But, um, but yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm a writer. I've been writing forever. So I, I got my own little zone. I like to isolate and I just read and I meditate and I just let it come to me. It's more not even writing. It's more kind of repeating what I hear and see in my head because it just kind of builds itself. You know, it's like a you know, protein or something working on the inside invisibly. But yeah, the work. So is that your, is that your space to be like you for yeah. real? Because you lay back, but you listen to mm -hmm. your music in the bars. You pop the hell is, you talking talk big shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's exercise. It's therapy for me, man. It's therapy for me. So, oh, nice. yeah, my daily life, I'm usually pretty chill and laid back. But when I get a chance to do my music, that's when I let go of all the frustration, the anger, the love. And, you know, it's a real uh, emotional place writing for me. I'm an artist, artist. Like, I love to record. I love being in the studio. I'm one of them rappers that'll sit there through the whole mix, the mastering, <laughs> artwork. Yeah. Laugh rap. Yeah. Everything, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yes, Real sir. Right. Yes, Real sir. Uh, hey, what it was like recording oh, that man. Great. man, that's my baby right there, man. I did, um, uh, that that's a oh man, thank you, man. Song, thank man. you. I did that beat, I did that beat, right. and like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Recorded, I did that beat. I, I had like a little loop, so. It was just an idea I had. I always knew I wanted to do something. I wanted Twisted to start my album off, kind of like I did Adrenaline Rush. So, yeah, so that was the idea behind it, man. But I, I did threw that beat together, and it was just a loop when I sent it to him. You know, but T is like next level, man. And this dude laid that verse, how you hear it, he laid that to a loop. And then I went back after I got his vocals, and I added it. Yeah, a bunch of other stuff. Added. But yeah, that's my baby right there, man. Weapons great. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I, I know it's a lot of fans in here, fans of Psycho man. Drum and Buck up in here. But if y'all listen music real quick, go through any of the music, whether it's his or whether it's Psycho Drum, you're going to tell real quick. <laughs> yes, they sir. Sound. Yes, sir. <laughs> real music. Real music. Real, yeah. Real, well, uh, Steph Baker said, Jay. Baker said, oh, man. Five thank you, alive. family. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. I agree. I mean, so it's like, um, um, who, who, who all have it? Who all you have oh, to work man. with? Who you want man, to? It's um, a lot of people, man. I would love to get down with, like, you know, Jada Kiss, Red Man, uh, Papoose, Timberland, ooh, Dre. Ooh, ooh. Hey. I'm going to have to add that you and Jay Kiss record. I'm not <laughs> Please do, it. man. Please do. That needs, that needs to yeah. happen. I ain't even playing. <laughs> we can stop that here first. That, nobody can leave this planet before we hear top five. Oh, man, it got to be, the name of man. It got to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It got to be. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. So, so some. Of the, of the what you right? say, be your your phone broke up. I'm nasty, so some yeah, in the lane yeah. of the unnasty. Yep, some in that same lane, okay. some in that same lane, some real gritty and dirty, some that beat the trunk up. You know what I'm saying? Heavy bass, heavy on the they, lyrics. They laugh. Somebody else. Did just brought it up and it's one of my questions. So I know you with Psycho Drummer and y'all family. You side and new y'all, y'all like for real Chicago mm -hmm. temptations with it. But you will still go make songs with, with with the Supremes. You'll still go make a record with Marvin Gaye. And I'm talking yeah. about like a direct or a never. Like you'll make some good music oh, man. with them. And they're my bros, like. man. You know, this is, uh, um, you know, me and Direct got the group Scattered Bodies, uh, Buck and Direct, and which we got part two coming this year too. 
And um, but you know, just working these my dogs, man. We've been around each other since the early nineties. So, you know, in direct house, you you can see just about everybody that rap, you know, and uh that's just like another day for us, man. It's like, hey, let's get down, let's do it. Uh you, you and you, you know, yeah. <laughs> we just we just do it. That's yeah. Real awesome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Time, that. that's gonna be cold. So, real quick, like curveball question. Uh, what were some of the other names y'all came up with? Other than oh Psycho man, Trump? that's a great, great question. I, I don't think I ever <laughs> even thought of that before. Uh, man, um, the funny part about this is we never had another name. We used to be, yeah, we used to be uh, riding around with Newsom's cousin. Her name is Shalanda. And um, we all went to this youth center called ABC on the west side right there off 13th for home, right? And um, we used to call ourselves Blunt Funk, but it was like 20 of us, you feel me? Yep, yep, exactly, exactly, ABC, yep, yes, sir. And uh, we used to go there and we used to call ourselves Blunt Funk. It was just, you know, we did comedy, we was singing, we was like, you know, Mad TV before Mad TV. But, uh, the, yeah, the three rappers was me, side and Nuisance in this crew, Blunt Funk. So when we came up with Psychodrama, <laughs> yeah, my uh, one of my big homies, Jerry, he wrote a rap called Psychodrama uh, years and years before this. And, um, you know, we never did nothing with it. So when me, Side of Nooses was in the studio that day, Side was like, man, we should call ourselves Psychodrama. And we all went, okay. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> we didn't. That's it. So it was literally, the, what would Blunt you say it was? Funk. What was the first name? Blunt Funk. Yeah. Just just Psychodrama. Psycho we didn't have a name. We didn't think on no second one. Side said that. And we was like, yep, That's let's do that. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. That's so hard, Lazar. That's legendary. Right yes, sir. That's sir. real legendary. But before we go, we got a question we ask you all the time here on GFM. You got five mm -hmm. songs you can play for God across them. Oh, you, my Which one God. are you playing? It could be yours. It could be somebody else. Which for God? Oh, oh right? man. I got to play him uh, Never Would Have Made It first. I got to oh. I got to give him um uh, I can't think of the name of it but Kirk Franklin his any any Kirk Franklin um Marvin Sapp you can go uh Fred Hammond you can go uh man I got to give um let me th think uh I'm a music, music head man I'm I Gospel. Yes, sir, man. I'm, I'm a gospel world. head, man. I grew up in church. So Shirley Caesar, we could bust out with some, uh, <laughs> you know, the the, the Canton okay, spirituals. I'm... You know, I I I have an ugly playlist for God, man. <laughs> That's crazy. So if you got one song, or if you if you look, so you said Kurt Frank and Marvin Sapp, Fred Fred Hammond, Shirley Caesar. What's one songs you going with? Now? Which one out of all of them? Where your Goodbye. phone cut out a, a little bit, my bad. What you say, B? My bad. My bad. I said you saying anything by him, any song by Kurt, any song by Marvin, any song by Fred, any song by Sir. Yeah, yeah, anyone, of? anyone, and then I have to throw in there. Um, I have to throw in there. I really love Yolanda Adams too, man. I really love Yolanda Adams, mm -hmm. um, but but also I grew up in a church called Greater Way Missionary Baptist Church on Harrison on the West Side, and those those are some yeah. of the greatest yeah. singers and and musicians in the world. So I probably live streamed something from Greater Way too, so he could really know I'm serious. Yes, church I was at, and we got stuff. That's right, man. That's right. That's right. That's hard. That's hard. Well, I would get you down because I'm asking everybody we interview because when we get done, I'm going to put up a playlist oh, of all the lives. That's said, love, man. Know? That's love. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll send, I'll send you some song yeah. selections too after we get off. 
For sure. Okay, yeah, do that, do that. But any last comments, last words, anybody got any comments or questions for Buck? Let's why he give us his last comments and announcements. What you're working on? We know you're working on part two, but what yeah, else man, you got coming and, up? Yeah, um, man, got the Cycle Drama album, the Once and For All coming very soon. Um, I don't want to get in trouble and say the date yet, but y'all going to see me side and nuisance, uh, full effect. I got my next solo project coming up called further. Um, uh, me and direct got the scattered bodies project. We working on, we got the drum award album coming. Yes, sir. Drum award album. Um, then, yeah. We yes, all three. We took the uh, yeah, all day. Three. Jordan, oh. Jordan. Yeah. And then. That's Jordan Hill. If you're from Chicago and you ain't got no big ass, plans, <laughs> yeah, something Jordan, wrong. Yeah, something exactly, wrong. exactly. <laughs> and um, yeah, the podcast, uh, the podcast, uh, um, so much other stuff happening. Be on the lookout for me on the new Chicago project by the legendary Trackster. We got some new stuff. How is that? Coming? Oh I man, see that's coming. That's you know so how everybody waiting on Dr. Dre <laughs> Detox. This is what that is, right? <laughs> well, let us be the prequel and set the precedent that come on in and show that mm -hmm. togetherness. Because LSD, we got five oh, man. Levels on there, that's bro. So... That's how many total. Oh man, is. that's five. a blessing, man! Great, beautiful, sonic, perfect perfection, man! Congrats! Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Before we end. Hey, y'all, before we end, we're going to go on in. The, the verse that we have for Buck here on GFM was 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. God chose him as your ransom long before the world began. But now in these last days, he has been revealed for your sake. Was that not the Absolutely. embodiment of our Absolutely. Amen. I appreciate that right there, man. <laughs> Legendary. I thank you for your time, Buck. I thank you for lending your voice and your time and your talents to me and my son. And um, look, we'll see what we could do when we get the show popping. Absolutely. That's the next Absolutely. move. We'll try to get this show. I'm ready, <laughs> man. Thank you again. Thank you again. And uh, God bless you and everything you're doing. I love the show. Keep going. And uh, man, we're going to connect soon, bro. Yeah, you yeah. You still up in Minnesota? Yep. Yeah. Hit the road, I'm gonna be driving. I promise. Please I'm make sure I get tune in with me, time. bro. We gotta make it happen. We gonna lock, lock in. Okay, go love, there, family. Bro. I love. Thank y'all. Love. Thank yes, you. sir. Appreciate the time. Track 18. We starting at 4:30, y'all. That's Buck, a psycho drama himself. We did that. How y'all feel? That was just wonderful. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get it. That verse on. again anybody y'all go back and listen to this one again and all the other episodes i thank y'all for tuning in gfm like i said tomorrow we got hot boy six o'clock same time